Hello, I'm Dr. Manish Singhal, Medical Oncologist, Apollo Hospitals, New Delhi and Noida. So the treatment of multiple myeloma uh, has seen a lot of new changes and a lot of new drugs and a lot of success. There was a time when multiple myeloma average survival used to be less than a year or about a year. But now the survivals of multiple myeloma run in many, many years and there are about 20% patients who may be actually almost cured with their disease. The treatment of multiple myeloma is basically immunotherapy or immune modulators. The use of immune modulators, these immune modulators generally not chemotherapy. So these immune modulators, they kill the plasma cells or the immune cells of your body. So steroids, certain immunomodulatory drugs such as linolidomide, thalidomide, uh, certain immunomodulatory drugs such as proteasome inhibitors such as bortezomib, carfilzomib, ixazomib, and these are the mainstay of, of treatment. They are used, generally the treatment of multiple myeloma is very, very well tolerated and the response rate is almost to the tune of 100%. That is almost everybody is going to respond to treatment what is important is to achieve almost complete remission. That is, the abnormal protein in the blood should be non normal, the plasma cells should not be seen, or the abnormal plasma cells should not be seen in the bone marrow, and all the bone lytic lesions should heal. Uh, so these are, uh, this is the aim of treatment because now we are able to achieve very deep responses in multiple myeloma. In case we are not, uh, we are not able to achieve then a bone marrow transplant, it is generally called as an autologous bone marrow transplant, that is, your own blood is cleaned. Or, or, or you are given high-dose chemotherapy and your own marrow is returned to you, not a transplant from somebody else. Uh, this can consolidate a good remission. And as I said that about uh, 15 to 20 percent patient can be really long-term survivors uh, with the treatment of multiple myeloma in today's world.